Hi guys, this is take like number three. Your girl has a cold, stuffy nose, and you know, for some reason, I just feel so compelled to tell you this. I just ran errands and I'm in my car and I just couldn't hold this and I, I really felt the need to tell you guys this. Today, I prayed <clears throat> and in my prayer, while I was praying, I became very, very, very emotional. This has never happened before. I've never been emotional during my prayers before. Um, but for some odd reason, <clears throat> I was bawling. Like, your girl was in tears. Like, oh, God. <laughs> tears coming down my eyes. I was, you know. <clears throat> and this never happened to me. I had to, like, literally Google it. Like, what does it mean to cry when you're praying? Like, if you go through my search history right now, it's like, why is she searching crying during prayers, right? But I was in so much tears today and I couldn't understand why. And I realized that while I was praying, I don't know if it was like the spirit touched me or whatever the case is, but I recognized that while I was praying, I came to the conclusion that what I grew up thinking was a weakness all my life was actually a strength. And this weakness is seeing the good in people. I always see the good in people no matter what. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> but I mean, I know not, I know why now, but I just always used to beat myself up like, why? This person did you wrong. You know, like, the, you, you shouldn't really, you know, you should hold grudges or like, I really did think that I needed to hold grudges because I used to be like, why did I forgive so easily? Like, you know, like I used to be like, you know, this, this person shouldn't get away with this. But I just couldn't find it in my heart to stay upset about something you know what i'm saying like i just couldn't find it in my heart to stay upset about something that is like so um trivial like you know even if it wasn't trivial like why stay upset that energy is just gonna stay in your heart for no reason and it's just gonna be just negative energy and that negative energy is gonna attract more negative energy right but during my prayer right the reason why i started crying or i let me not say the reason because I genuinely don't know the reason why I started crying, right? But <clears throat> during my prayer, I was praying, right? I was praying about the forgiveness of all the people that hurt me, all my enemies. I was praying that they find healing and the strength to, to become a better person. Because one thing I recognize is that these people they're lost, right? Because in my 20 something years of, of living in this, on this earth, right? On planet earth, right? On my 20 something years of living, I know that I do not know everything. And there is a ton of stuff that I need to learn, not just about myself, even about myself, about myself alone. That is more than enough stuff that I need to learn, right? But about the world and the people that live in it, right? About life and the injustices of life, right? And the justices of life, right? And the karma and karmic law and things like that, right? So, I know that there's a lot of things that, that I can learn from, but I know that there are people that are lost, lost. I mean, these people are so lost. I'm, there's like someone running in my neighborhood and I can't, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm like squinting. But um, these people are lost, lost. Like they are, they're gone with the wind. Like they're just, they're lost, right? And they're lost because they don't recognize the power that they have within, right? You think that in order for you to grow, in order for you to succeed in life, in order for you to excel, you have to be, you have to do these bad things. You have to be malicious. You have to do sneaky things to get the things that you want. 
you don't because you have that power within you to get the things that you really truly desire without having to go through these routes because those routes come at a cost mental cost spiritual cost you know law of attraction you know you having a negative heart attracts negative things whether or not you like it karmic energy right law of karma those things are real right and so today when i was praying i was like i really truly pray for these people and it was a genuine feeling because i felt so bad for them which is so crazy because these people did me wrong right they did me wrong but like I, I'm not even mad at it because I recognize that they did me wrong because they're lost. They're lost. And don't get me wrong, it's not in a narcissistic way. You need to recognize, you know, your, the parts that you play in things to how you can avoid this situation from happening the next time and, you know, how you can grow from the situation because there's always lessons to be learned, right? It's not always the other person's fault. There's always... There's always lessons to be learned. But you need to pray for your enemies. You need to pray for the people that that wish you harm. Because those people, they don't know that all their wishes is not going to come to fruition because you have a good, pure heart. Right? All those things that they think they're going to get away with, all those things that they think they're going to get away with, they're not. I promise you they're not. Trust me. I have seen it happen with my own eyes. Karma is real. And I don't know it's because I'm a very empathetic person. And I tend to let go of things because I don't like to hold on to negative emotions for a long time. Because it doesn't serve me. It doesn't serve me one bit. So I typically... Thankfully, I'm blessed because when I was younger, I didn't think this was a blessing. I didn't think this was a gift, right? But I'm thankfully gifted with the with the skill of letting go, right? Just let go. Let go and let God. This person did you wrong? Okay, well, listen, I pray you find the person that you deserve or I pray that, you know, you live the life that you deserve. But me, I will take myself out of the situation and you know, deal with my own life accordingly, right? So it's best that you just take yourself out of situations than stoop down to someone else's level. You know, this person hurt me, I'm going to hurt them back or no. You can't let people dictate the way that you live. You can't let people dictate the way that you should live based on their actions and their behavior towards you. No, you should base your life based on the way that you live. Uh, it was a quote that I saw recently with Lil Wayne, right? He was like in an interview with like, I don't know, this lady, I don't know, this reporter. And she was asking him, right, about like, how does he feel? Does he feel like he is a role model or like, you know, people should live their life according to him or something like that? And he said, well... If people need an example of how to live their lives, they shouldn't be living. And I, okay, that seems a little bit harsh. I don't think that people shouldn't be living because they don't know better. So I'm not going to say that they shouldn't be living, but you shouldn't need an example of how to live, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. There should, there should be, you know, there can be inspiration and motivation and you see people living their lives and you're like, you know what? Like this gives you inspiration that I can do the things that I want to do too. I don't take that away from me. But you should also recognize that you need to live your life based on you, your needs, because everyone walks a different path right? Everyone is on this earth to live a different life. Everyone has their own story. I promise you, not every, no two people have the same pathway in life, right? No two people do. So you need to recognize that you have your own path. 
don't live according to other people don't live because this person did me wrong now i have to do them wrong back no live your life the things that you want will come to you if you're patient enough to learn from your mistakes okay Learn from your mistakes. Take lessons from every single negative thing that has, and positive things too. Every single thing that's happened in your life, take those things as a learning moment. Learning and teaching moment. I mean, a teaching experience, learning experience, whatever. But take those moments and grow from it. And I promise you, at the point where you have learned to master your emotions you've learned to master your responses you've learned to master being proactive with the things that you want i promise you the right people will just start coming to you the right things will start coming to you. If it's money that you want, it's going to start coming to you. If it's a man that you want, a woman that you want, it's going to start coming to you. Just have a pure heart. And that sounds very religious and biblical or whatever, but there's a reason why it's written in the Bible. And I really truly believe that religious scriptures, right? Whether it's Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, um, Judaism, Islam, those texts are literally like cheat codes to this life. Like they literally, like, I don't know, like even the chakras, right? The frequencies, <laughs> all that stuff. It really truly matters. It really does. So I really believe that everyone should live their lives according to them and just be a true honest authentic version of yourself don't deceive people don't manipulate people don't lie to people don't be you know you know malicious to people you know i don't get mad at these people because they're lost because like i said they don't know the power that they truly have within so today when i was praying i cried i cried because I recognize that it's just so many people in this world that are truly, 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 truly lost. Because it becomes like a cycle, right? One person is lost and they give birth to another person and they raise that person to also be lost. And it just becomes a cycle of just lost people. And then it's like, if someone is not spiritually in tuned enough to get out of that matrix, then they just become lost in that, that matrix sauce. It was very unfortunate. And so um, I say this to say, you know, always live your true authentic self. Um, always live your true authentic self. Always do things with the kindness of your heart. Okay. Don't expect things. Let go of any expectations. Do things because you want to do it. I mean, I go out. I don't even care what anyone says. I'll be in the gym. I'll be dancing. Like, I'll be in the gym. People looking at me. Some people smiling at me. Some people think I'm weird. I don't care because at the end of the day, I don't know these people. <laughs> I don't know them. They don't pay my bills. Um, they're not people that I need to, like, impress or anything. I don't need to impress anybody. You know, I don't need to impress anyone but myself. Okay, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt, guys. Um, bear with me. I hope you guys, I mean, if you got this far, thank you. Because, you know, my voice and you know, my stuff he knows. But I just wanted to, to share this, this message with everyone. Because I just felt like it was very important for everyone to understand the power that we truly have within ourselves. We're all powerful beings okay so thanks for watching i hope you guys have a great amazing 2023 because i know this this um video i recorded right before 2023 so um thank you guys for watching i love you bye